snow. <laughs> hey guys. It's opening day of gun season. Josie's in a stand with her daddy and uh, things can happen really fast. Opening day of gun season, so I'm gonna sit back, be quiet, and uh, hopefully we have something to show you guys. Wish us luck. Down. It's my very first day of hunting and I'm on my hunting gear and I need to whisper because of all the deer around and I used a grindle aka a gun and I just shot my first buck so we're giving him about 10 minutes because so what happened when the buck came in how did he come so he came in over there near that tree over there near the pines over there yeah like right and then he started running and then as I couldn't see him and my dad's like, come on, you gotta see him because if you're ready, I'll make the call. And as soon as he came right here, I put my gun really close and the red was right in his shoulder and then I clicked it really fast because I was ready to let him go. He just bowled it off over there and my mom said that he actually just fell down to the ground. She called us about it and I was like, I killed it. How do you feel sure. right now? I feel amazing because it's my very first time. Very lucky. Yeah, what are we doing right now? So we're okay. giving him about the 10 minutes and waiting for my grandpa, because this is my grandma and grandpa's place, waiting for him to get ready and come here to get the buck, because he had antlers. And we're giving him about 10 minutes to see if he's actually dead. We'll make sure we'll bring our rifle just in yeah. case he's still alive. But we saw him go down, didn't we? Yeah. So we'll he did a butt a kick, though. Yeah. Where'd you aim for? Where'd you hit him? So he was like right around that tree over there, that mossy looking one. And it, um, he walked over there and looked at us and I started like aiming for right around here. So then I immediately went and I just shot him and then he did a butt kick and ran off. So me and my dad were like, I'm pretty sure we missed, I missed him. But well, we weren't sure. We were just we were making an estimate mm -hmm. because we didn't know because he did a butt kick and ran off. And then my mom just called to say that he um, is laying down over there. So we're giving ten minutes. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all, I can't even believe it. Joe just got her first deer. mama moment like I'm I'm so proud of her it's a nice buck I saw him come through the trees and I started rolling so I, I think I got him flying through that. I don't know if I got him going down but I could tell from a ways away like that was a nice buck so I was on him and the shot rang out and he he ran over here so I still stayed on him in case he didn't go down um and uh she smoked him, man. She smoked him. Um, we got it on recording. Uh, Mark's got a scope that records because he, this is his hobby. So, got more buck fever for her than I've ever had for myself. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give her a call and say it's time to get down because he fell not, not 50 yards from my stand. So, I'm gonna let you guys go. Bye. How you feel, Joe? Awesome! Look at this bad boy. How many points? Count them. Count his points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Got yourself a nice eight point. Hey, let me I cannot believe you made that shot, Joe. He's a nice deer. And what you guys can see, she, she landed a perfect shot on him. Right there. That's right where, right in the shoulder. He kicked. And... He kicked and ran, and I saw him go down. So it's like the one that ran to the tree like yours. Kind of, yeah. He came over here and flipped over. That was amazing. Were you just... I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. I was going camera yeah, we got on camera. <laughs> I was so fast at it. How do you feel? You feel okay? You My feel dad good? took a video for you. Good. About me saying how I did it and stuff. Oh, did you? Good, thanks, babe. Yeah, I did on yeah, the stand. Yeah, I'm gonna walk through. Here you go. Yeah, I'm gonna come down. And everything. Doesn't that make you happy? You put something in the freezer, you're feeding the whole family. Here comes the pack. Are you happy, Joe? Oh, you got yeah, lucky, yeah. man. Almost nobody comes hand out. Hand like, leave it so he sees you, Joe. You have to go. Look, <laughs> Dad looks all excited to be. He killed. I killed a buck. He can, it's okay. She's excited. <laughs> yeah. He knows where you're at. He's <laughs> I sat ball. That's rut though, them grunting and running through like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so both bucks we saw today actually came, we heard them before we ever saw them grunting. So it's, it's definitely rut. So we're gonna go ahead and load this guy out and get him. We're definitely taxiderming this one. It's her first year, so. And a nice one at that. Joe, he's not going to run it over. He's okay. We'll see you up there. So now we're getting ready to take it to the processor. Joe, you're feeding us, yeah. <laughs> so look, you've got your transportation tag and your license. So um, here in Indiana, we have to have tr a temporary transportation tag just to kind of legally take ownership of that deer from property to processor. So yeah, we went online, tagged it, got our temporary tag to transport and we're on our way. Yep. Tell him to keep the cape so we can yeah. do taxidermy. That's yeah, cool. I think she definitely earned it because this is Dad. this is a good first year. <laughs> so we've got the tag on his antler here. <laughs> the tree tree's branch. trying to attack me. Um, so that if a DNR officer were to stop us and want to inspect the deer, mm -hmm. we would get in really big trouble not having that. Like technically, this is the thing that makes it legal to take it from your property to someone to process or to a tag in station so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get it tagged and then hopefully some breakfast and go from there <laughs> somebody's tired for it. <laughs> so there you have it guys Josie harvested her first deer she tagged out before Mark or I <laughs> she came out First sit, first hunt, nice eight point buck. We couldn't be any more happy for her. Um, make sure you leave down in the, the comments below a congratulations because she's so pumped and like really, experiences like this are what I want her to have. I want her to be self-sufficient. I want her to know how to use a firearm. I want her to know how to harvest a deer and what it takes and where food comes from and all of that good stuff that a lot of people nowadays all over the world have a huge disconnect with. So. I'm just, I'm really stoked for her. We've already dropped it off at the processor. I just got a text saying that um, our cape was ready to pick up, so we are gonna have it taxidermy because it's her first buck, nice buck. She did an excellent shot. 
So I didn't want to show um, any of the field dressing. Field dressing, for those of you that don't know the term, is gutting, removing the innards before we take them to the processor. But um, when we did remove his internal organs, the top of his heart was taken and both lungs were um, punched through. So he ran about 70 yards before he went down, 60 to 70, and he was just on pure adrenaline because everything in there was just obliterated. That was a very quick and humane death um, compared to maybe hitting too far back or too far forward or a spine shot or anything like that. So we're just really happy to have food in the freezer. So go ahead in the comments below, let Josie know, congratulations, because she worked really hard. She took put in a lot of time um, sighting in that gun with her dad and she did it all on her own. I'm so incredibly proud of her. It's just, it's crazy to watch them grow up in, in ways like that. So thanks so much for being here with us and sharing this incredibly intimate moment with our family because it was our first hunt. I just can't believe she came away successful. She had a good sit, saw four or five deer. So, I mean, a lot of people, their first hunts are nothing like that. So she feels incredibly blessed and we feel incredibly blessed that she had um, just an experience like that. So make sure you drop comments down below letting Josie know congratulations um, because we're incredibly proud of her and I'm really glad that you guys could come along on this journey because it's one of those one and only moments. It's here and it's gone so I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. I'm glad I recorded it. If you found yourself enjoying the video and you want to commit to us and you like deer hunting, homesteading, self-sufficiency, farming, cute animals, gardening, we kind of encompass all of that here on Mulberry Branch Farm. So it costs nothing to subscribe, helps us out a whole lot, but make sure you drop a comment letting this young lady know what an excellent job she did. So remember, stay healthy out there and be kind to one another and we're gonna catch you in the next one.